Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're checking out the latest version of Maroka Yuki, the original character of the Sosai Shoujo Teian lines. This is the beach clothes version. So she's got her bikini on. We saw her in the winter school uniform, the summer school uniform, and now the bikini version. Let's go ahead and get into it for today's review. Taking a look at the box and its contents. First off, we got vertical style box art like usual with this line with a very beautiful image here of the character at the beach playing in the sea there it looks like. Obviously with this being the swimsuit version that setting makes sense. You got the sunflower in the hair and the pink polka dot bikini. All that looks really cool here on the front. On the ends of the box you just got the same image there, some information over here on the size, the character name, 1 10th scale full action plastic model kit, Maroka Yuki. On the one side of the box here is vertical with the character illustration here, a look at the fully painted model kit there. So the sunflower and the hair looks like it is actually going to be part of the kit, not just a part of the illustration. So that's cool. Here's a look here for different face options. And of course these are going to be compatible with face option parts from the other versions of this kit in the line. Got some options for the bare feet there as well, so that's pretty cool. And on this side of the box, a look at the kit completely unpainted, just built straight out of the box though, that is using the polka dot decals, which you have here. So adding those polka dots onto the swimsuit you'll have to do with decals or paint, however you want to do it, but they're not going to be molded on there or pre-printed. I'm not sure. Well, we'll have to wait until we get this opened up. Actually, those might be pre-printed. We'll see. Also, you have eye decals as usual and the list price over here of 6,300 yen for this one. All right, now I'm curious. I want to see if those uh, parts are going to be pre-printed with the polka dots on there. And now I'm kind of thinking maybe they will be. Let's go ahead. Uh-huh. Uh, yep. It looks like. We'll just go ahead and take a look at these first here. There you go. There's your parts for the swimsuit with all the polka dots already printed on there for you. Very cool. But anyway, before we take a look at the rest of the runners, let's just go ahead and take a look at the manual here. You have the same artwork on the front, on the back, just the logo there. On the inside, lots of images of the kit, of the character there, some information that's all in Japanese, but of course you can change the hairstyles, change the head with your Frame Arms Girl kits if you wanted to, get some accessories with that. There's some accessory kits available, lots of those. Got like a separate pullout page here for the parts list it looks like, and that's also going to show you like the pre-printed parts there. There's a few of those, your hand parts all the contents and everything. The rest of the manual here, just going through the construction, looks like all the way until the end here at the back. Once again, you have the original color simulation, a really nice part of the manual here where it gives you line art and kind of like a color palette there. So if you want to scan this, put that in your computer, plan out some color schemes, you can put the colors over here for the different parts of the kit, that's really cool. Look at the face options down there, hair options, if you want to use those from the, using these face options with the other versions of the kit, you can do that. And then here's your uh, standard color guide if you just want to follow the colors as suggested here. And there's the decal guide as well, obviously just placing all those polka dot decals around on there if you want to follow that decal guide. All right, so here's a quick look at the water slide decal sheet. Like it says, just eyes and polka dots, but lots of them there. Aside from the pre-printed swimsuit parts, we also have some more pre-printed parts here. This is going to be for like the bikini straps around the side of the body there are pre-printed for you in pink there. And also these parts for the sandals for the tops of the feet. So that's really nice. And of course, our face options as well. So we got some really cool, nice expressive faces with this one. I think those are really nice looking. Our hand option parts is usually going to give you a lot of options for different types of holding hands, open hands, pointing hands. Uh, you'll have so many different types of holding hands. No actual closed fists with these. The closest thing you have is just kind of these ones right here, which are kind of like mostly closed, but they're not closed in like a fully clenched fist. Then runners A, B, C, and D are all just going to be different uh, hair parts for this. So you will have like three different hairstyles that you can make with this. That's why there's so many different hair parts. Runners E and F are a bunch of of our skin tone colored body parts here. Runner G is a set of face option parts, but these are unpainted. So if you want to use the water slide decals or paint these yourself, you can do that. Runner I is a couple more little parts here in skin tone. Runner J is some pink parts for the swimsuit. Runner K is our sunflower pieces for the hair. So as you can see, these will just be just solid yellow. You'll have to do some painting there to make those more color accurate. Runner L is in a kind of a pale yellow color here for the bottoms of the sandals. Runner P here is a couple parts in this sparkly clear purple for I think the hairband. We have another runner P, two of them in skin tone, which is just going to be some uh, wrist joint parts. And finally, runner U in a fitting clear blue for the stand clear blue to kind of simulate the ocean, right? Water, so that makes sense for this version of the kit. That's very cool. And before we get into the review, another cool thing that was given out with this kit, excuse the noise, 
And I believe this was a limited item, so if you're wanting to purchase the kit, you know, whether you're purchasing it from here from Yosa Gundam store or from somewhere else, make sure this is included before you order if it's something you care about. But it's this cool beach scene here, beach scene backdrop from Kurobukiya, which you could just use as a poster, just like that, but you're kind of meant to stand it up like this and it could be stood up against a wall or something. I'll put something behind it as I think this would make for a good background here for the rest of the review. So we'll go ahead and use that, but just know that, yeah, this was a like an exclusive item that was included with this. Like I said, I'm not sure that every retailer has these or how many they got of these, so yeah, just make sure you check before you order. All right, guys, so here is the kit all built up, and obviously we have a bunch of accessories, and we'll get into all those here in just a minute, but as always with the line, the construction is relatively simple, but you get a really nice looking model kit out of it. The kit looks great, you have a lot of articulation built in, and of course you get a ton of personality out of the different option parts and things that we have here between the hair parts, the face parts, the hand parts, and then of course our other option parts that are included with this for the body, etc. Let's go ahead and check all those out right now. As for her accessories, kind of other than the base stand, which is in this clear blue, which really makes sense, and that's gonna look really nice. It's basically all just gonna be option parts for the body, with the most notable one being this optional part for the main kind of core of the body here, which will allow you to have the waist kind of section quite bent like this. And it's simply a matter of swapping these parts, quite easy to do. Just swap out the legs and the torso here. Then you can have her just sitting on the beach like that. So again, it's just an option part that is really nice for setting up different scenes and poses with this. Now, as for any other accessories for it, like I said, it's basically just all stuff for the body. So you have a couple of different head and like hair type options. So instead of the pigtails here, you have just this one ponytail option part and then the option to have the hair down like so. All of those look really nice and it's nice that you can build full heads so you can just swap them uh, really easily rather than having to disassemble and reassemble the hair parts. Now obviously you need to disassemble if you want to switch out the faces. There you saw three of them. Here is the fourth one and I'll show you guys some different poses here in just a second. Other than that, the other kind of new body accessory that we have for this is these uh, straight arms. So the point of these is that you don't have any joint, visible joint there in the arm. If you wanted to do a pose where the arm should just be straight, you can use this and then you don't need to worry about having a uh, seam line there in the arm. Again, it just kind of adds to the look just to make it look nicer and just without having to do any work to get rid of that joint if you don't want to have that joint in there. So those arms, which you have for the left and the right, of course, those look really nice. Got a bunch more of our different hand parts, of course, including the peace sign hands and all the different types of holding hands. Now, you don't have any accessories with this set of anything that you can actually hold, so the holding hands will only really be good for anything from a different set. But with this kit, we do also have options for the feet. So you have these sandal wearing feet, but then you also have bare feet. You have three different types, so one with the toes pointed down like that. You have another set where the toes are just flat, so these would be nice for just like standing or walking. And then a third set where the toes are pointed up, and again, these could be used for like running or something or kicking, whatever you might want to use those for. And really, that's going to be it for this kit, guys. I'll show you a few different poses, things you can do with this. Of course, you can get creative as to how you want to mix and match the face parts, the hair parts, the parts for the arms, legs, feet, body. But to be honest, I do find this set to be a little bit lacking in the terms of accessories. It's nice that the other sets at least came with like the school bag, the cell phone. You had like a couple of just small, simple accessories included with the box. I know that they have the different accessory sets sold separately, the after school sets. And those are really nice as well. But it would have been nice if maybe one or two just small things would have been included with this. Could have been something just like a little beach ball or like a little bottle of like suntan lotion or something like that. I think would have made sense just for this particular release, obviously. Or just, of course, the classic cell phone is what you seem to get in like in every set. So that would be my only kind of minor gripe with this. Otherwise, it's great to have Maroko Yuki here in this uh, summer outfit. We're really looking forward to the other characters coming out in their summer outfits as well. I think if you guys are into these kits, if you're into the Sosai Shoujo Teian line in general, uh, one thing that the kits are great for is, of course, if you're into to toy photography and having these available um, also just makes gives you more options for making really cool scenes. The scenery backdrop is also really nice. Again, just make sure that if it's something that you want, make sure that you can get that with that. But uh, assuming that you can get the scenery backdrop with this kit, 
then I would say it, that, that also is a really nice incentive for buying this one as well because it works really well. Again, if you're interested in uh, toy photography, it's really nice to have in there as an included accessory. But that is gonna be about it for this video, guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think about this version of uh, Maroka Yuki? And here's a question I wanna ask to you guys. Which has been your favorite release in this line so far? Which character or maybe which clothing version is your favorite so far? I'm not sure, but there's been a lot of really great ones so far and I'm really looking forward to the upcoming ones coming out as well. If you guys wanna check out any of these kits or anything else from Kotobukiya, of course you can do so at the link in the video description to USA Gundam Store. We've got these kits here. Everything else, like I said, from Kotobukiya, paints, tools, supplies, everything you guys need, so make sure to check that out. And if you would also like to like and or subscribe while you're here, that would also be greatly appreciated. Make sure you don't miss any future reviews. But for now, guys, thanks so much for checking out the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.